bonds are a valuable currency in World of Tanks and an object of desire for experienced tankers. You can purchase many things using them, from rare vehicles to improved equipment. But how are bonds earned? And more importantly, how many? The answer is not so obvious. Bonds can't be purchased directly. They can only be earned from battles. Game events like Frontline or Steel Hunter provide great opportunities, but they are temporary and require more commitment. Apart from commitment, a player's experience and skill are valued in ranked battles and global map battles. Various missions are also a nice option, but their number is very limited. And in order to start earning bonds in Battle Pass, you have to complete a large number of stages. There are constant ways to earn bonds, such as epic or battle hero achievements in random battles in Tier 4 vehicles or higher, or same tier battles in Tier 10 vehicles. But these options are hard to predict. You can't control whether you receive rare achievements or are placed into a same tier battle. And when you're trying to earn bonds for an important purchase, you want to clearly see how much you need to reach your goal. The new bond earning system is meant to make life a bit easier for tankers. The rules for earning bonds in Tier 10 vehicles in random battles are simple and clear. Players that reach the top three on the winning team by experience earned receive seven bonds. Reaching the top 10 earns five bonds. If the battle is lost or ends in a draw, players will earn five bonds for reaching the top three and three bonds for reaching the top 10. In grand battles, the rules are similar with the only difference being that players have to reach the top 20 or top six on the team by experience earned. Under the new system, each tier 10 vehicle can earn bonds in any random battle they play. If you hover your mouse cursor over a vehicle in the vehicle panel, you will see the number of bonds you received in this particular vehicle. The weekly limit for one vehicle is 100 bonds. This limit resets every Monday morning. A purple glow appears under the vehicle to indicate you can resume earning bonds in it. Active players will appreciate the advantages of the new system, and it becomes even more profitable as you get more Tier 10 vehicles at your disposal. Here's an example. Pretend we need to earn 50 bonds. Under the current system, an average player will need to play a lot of battles. Many of them will not have a chance to earn bonds at all. Almost half of the battles are with Tiers 8 and 9. There might be some nice exceptions so long as you perform spectacularly in such battles and earn epic medals, but that's a rare case. Same tier battles don't provide bonds every time because sometimes it's hard to perform enough useful actions in battle to receive at least 400 base experience, especially if your team loses. Then it's zero bonds as a result. Only after several battles in a long session might a player see the desired bonds in the post-battle statistics. Under the new system, however, almost every battle can earn you bonds, regardless of whether it was against Tier 8 or Tier 10. You can receive bonds even when your team loses. You just have to prove yourself on the battlefield. It's much easier and faster to earn 50 bonds. The difference with the old mechanics is apparent. These updated mechanics will allow players to earn bonds in Tier 10 vehicles faster. It's important because the supply in the bond store was significantly updated, and now you can save up faster for the desired items. Under the new system, every player will be able to earn as many bonds as they need.